can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua responds. He counters back at Joe Joyce for the Glass Cannon Act, and he, he said, <clears throat> it took you five days to think of this. <laughs> um... You know, I do wonder when a person does wait a while when hearing something, because that was, what, about five days ago, you know? Um, and Joshua said that, and that was common knowledge, and that material went out. Joshua leaked, you know, the sparring session, the, the sparring sessions. Um, and, yeah, he said that five days ago, like really six you know, because it depends on what time of the day it was to make the sixth day. So, Joyce saying that maybe he was busy. Maybe he's not a social media guy or whatever, you know. And I think Anthony Joshua was implying that someone had to help him come up with what he had to say. Because that's a normal thing. You know, you don't wait five days to respond. You know, it's like he'd been, been listening to uh, or been reading the Luis Ortiz handbook because Ortiz, you know, it takes him so long to respond normally to the point you're like, okay, where were you at the last five days <laughs> or the last two weeks or however long it took him to respond? Then the same is going for uh, Joe Joyce and Anthony Joshua was like, well, hey, I said it. What you going to do about it? You know, again, um, Great layout, great foundation for a great massive fight. Because a fight like this, this isn't sparring as far as headgear. You're gonna hear great, you're gonna see scrapes, bruises. This is not Carlos Takam. This is not Bermain Stavern. This is not Daniel Dubois. Joe Joyce will be up against one of the toughest guys that he's been there with that's already beat him in the amateurs. That was what my uncle says when he was getting mollywopped. Okay. He definitely was getting punched at will. And I'm, I was wondering, okay, where the hell is the defense? Because he was definitely getting <laughs> tattooed, okay? From side to side, ear to ear. And um, the referee, of course, stopped it. He wasn't going down because I don't think... Joe Joyce is a guy that I think he is a mutant. But then again, the juggernaut is not even a mutant. He's just a special gifted guy, right? I'm a comic book guy, so because he has magical powers, not mutant powers. But these magical powers won't matter if he keeps getting hit at will by Anthony Joshua. So the skill set, the height, the size, the styles, uh, someone like Joe Joyce that keeps coming, I think if Joe was going to do anything, it would be because of his engine and because of his chin and because of his will. I don't see that same thing in same qualities with Joshua. He doesn't have those, those, he doesn't have, I don't think he has a chin like Joe Joyce. I don't think he has a great gas tank because I think he's, he's normally and naturally smaller. So he's carrying around a lot of muscle that he's not naturally, he didn't, it didn't naturally come to him. He had to go to the gym and um, get that piled on him. So it's not really a natural thing, okay? But yeah, decent snappy comeback by AJ, you know, because it does convey that he took time to figure out what he had to say. So that is somewhat believable. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Anthony Joshua's counterpunch. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.